Hello, I am just about to leave uh, to go back to the office and yes, I am wearing sunglasses indoors but that's just because I am just about to walk outside and it's sunny out. So, did a quick little walk with Riley. Ah, you know, I want that 70 degree weather again. It's been a little chilly for me. Uh, when it's sunny out, it's pretty nice but the breeze penetrates my skin and all of the warmth that my body built up just evaporates when that cold feeling hits my skin. That's literally what it feels like for me. But since I have been good and I haven't gotten, oh, I don't know why I'm out of breath. I haven't gotten bubble tea all week. With the temptation, every day I would be like, man, I'm so tempted to get some, but either I rode in on my motorcycle and I don't wanna go pick it up on that. It feels like a hassle to put on my gear just to ride for like a couple minutes to get bubble tea. So. I'm going to pick some up before I head back into the office. Pretty uneventful day today, except for this morning I booked an Airbnb that had a little bit of complication because the price that I booked it for was like $100 a night cheaper than what the owner intended for it to be. So she's trying to contact Airbnb to make sure or to ask what the hell is going on. And uh, I am pretty happy about the choice though because it is two blocks away from the venue, which means I can walk back to take care of Riley instead of needing to take a taxi or Uber every single time. So that'll save me some money. Yeah, it turned out to be like 174 a night and she wanted it to be 279 a night plus. So I got a bargain. We're gonna see what happens. <sighs> Hello, I am just about to leave work to start the weekend. It's really nice to not have that urgency to leave work. Uh, so you know if, if you hate a job, you just really, really want to leave, right? And it makes it so that staying there for the full duration feels unbearable. But um, I feel like my mentality here has kind of changed where I'm really comfortable staying my full duration. And sometimes I, uh, yeah, just am not in a rush to leave. So it's like... 621 right now on a Friday and you know everyone wants to start their vacation well start their weekend early but I'm just still here hanging around but it's mostly because I got in uh after 9 30 today so I kind of wanted to do my full time but I feel like it was just empty in there so I felt kind of weird still being around but what's even weirder is it's so freaking bright outside it's 6 20 and it's like the middle of the day in terms of lightness. It's still sunny. I still have to wear sunglasses when I go home. This is so strange, but I like it because not driving in the dark is always a plus. I don't have anything special planned this weekend, but I'm gonna head home first. Okay, home at last. And I... Ah, so I feel like yesterday I had a very... I started off my dungeon in Surrender to Madness, which might have contributed to me just being like irritated at not generating insanity for 30 seconds. So I didn't really like using it, especially on trash. So that might have caused me to be in like a very negative mindset in terms of enjoying the class. So maybe today I will try to queue up one more time for a dungeon and this time switch away, switch around my talents so they help contribute to a better dungeon experience. I'm not sure. I decided to buy a few more chew things for Riley just to see how long they last. So first of all, I got beef kneecaps. I think this was like, I got two. So I got beef kneecaps and holy shit, look at this beef knuckle. This thing is humongous. Look at that, look at that knuckle. Wow, holy crap. Oh my god. So I think, man, I forget the pricing, but I think each of these were around $3. So this is two. So this one for three, I'm genuinely curious how long this will take. Um, I was going to maybe play a game of Dota or play some WoW in a bit, so I'll give her one of these. But I'm also wondering if their nose 
if their nose is just like that strong because when I pulled them out of the box she just immediately started getting excited I don't think her reaction is like that every time I buy something like if I pull out some clothes she's not gonna be like really eager so I wonder what exactly they recognize that gets them excited but this <laughs> this is really freaking intimidating and uh, good thing I have a towel that I put down on the rug that way she's not getting this gunk all over my floor that would be kind of nasty so I think I'll start off with the beef kneecaps first instead of the beef knuckle because I'm curious to see how long these smaller ones last because this big one should last her a very long time but you just never know so we will see how that goes Ugh. Ugh. so this fancy dog stuff tends to suck I feel like if you want to get very enticing things for your dog to chew on look at all that stuff that came off of it so it probably has a lot of flavor to it but when I took it out of the bag it was so freaking oily wait 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 no right here good yeah I want to make sure she stays on here including her paws I'm gonna have to wipe her paws after she's done or something but the nice thing about a raw bone was I would give it to her when it was frozen so it wouldn't really like get all over the place like this well as she chewed it it would pretty much just get everything all really dirty and disgusting so I think it's inevitable for it to be all over the place like this good morning so I uh, woke up to interesting Dota news. Rosters were shuffling and a couple of them came as a surprise to me so that was like the first thing I read off my phone when I woke up so that pretty much mm, made me really awake because I wanted to sleep a bit more. It was like 8.30 and uh, I don't know, I felt pretty tired last night so overall though I feel really good. Um, something else I also want to try to be very rigid about is unless I plan on doing that I will not use heat on my hair the other days since I will probably be limiting the amount of days that I look nice that sounds so silly to say look nice but I just mean like have a nice outfit um, and spend time on my hair for appearance purposes and days I can't do that are days that I ride on my motorcycle because the helmet squishing it down and I can't wear heels and stuff like that the other days where I'm just home a lot or don't really have plans to go out so I will hopefully you'll be seeing me looking like this a lot so uh, I'm gonna look very disheveled but it will be good to not use heat on my hair if I am not if I'm not going out if I don't need to look nice if I'm not wearing a fancy outfit whatever right um, it will keep my hair healthy longer so it's worth it I might just not be pleased with how like messy my hair looks but first thing I'm going to do today is watch this best of three for Dota there's a minor going on but since it doesn't have that many teams that I'm interested in I haven't been watching it at all couple things I finally got my wrenches last night so it is raining or it's wet outside right now so I'm not really sure I'll have time to install my heat controller today I don't want to do it when it's wet out I want to do it when it's sunny and nice out so tomorrow possibly it would be nice to do it this weekend that way I can ride into work warm and f forever in the future warm but we'll see about that today I actually plan I made plans with my friend to play Dota all day today because of that Dota Plus thing that was released Basically, it's a subscription service that you kind of get rewards when you play and you can level up heroes and you can buy buy stuff in the client that might make playing the game exciting. So me and him have trouble playing together because of our time difference. He's still in New Jersey um, and three hours is a big deal. So we made plans today to play like 10 games or as many as we can so I'm kind of looking forward to that I kind of hope it goes as well as I anticipated because me and him when we first met we used to play Dota like Friday night 
to Saturday morning and we would do it constantly and it was actually a lot of fun. I kind of miss those days. We used to play like four or five stacks with people and we would play Dota all night. But that doesn't happen anymore. So let's see if today hopefully goes well according to plan. And before I finish this up, I'm going to make some oatmeal really quick for breakfast, healthy breakfast. Woke up with a uh, <laughs> pretty flat stomach because everything's all digested, but that's gonna go away throughout the day. Hi, pups. All right, so the book I bought from Stephen King is The Eyes of the Dragon. I will read any Stephen King thing. So I'm really thinking that this will be a good read and I'm kind of looking forward to it. I think it's amazing, honestly, that he just reads, uh, that he just writes such diverse genres and he does it very well. And then the other one is just the mystery of the blue train. So right now, I'm like barely progressing through the series. I don't know if you can see in the back. Let's see. So this one's over here. I have read, I've read two. And I will be skipping a few of these because some of them might be short stories. And I think I wanna only read the novels, so. I, I actually think I do plan on reading all of these just because I like the character and uh, I want to read the final book of Hercule once I get that far. So, oh yes, and Jeremy, I will look into some of those Agatha adaptations. I will look into them and see if there are a few that I might want to check out because um, I... I used to watch a lot of old, old stuff in the past, but I kind of maybe got to a phase where I was like, oh, I'm not as interested in stuff in the 1900s anymore, but there were a select few that I really liked, like Rebecca by Alfred Hitchcock. I think I remember loving that one when I first saw it. I have not watched it over ever, but then there are a few other Alfred Hitchcock ones that I liked also, and also maybe Double Indemnity, that was a good movie. So. There were a select few from that time that I liked, and uh, I definitely don't want to have that ignorant feeling of automatically being like, oh, this movie's from the 1900s or this adaptation's from the 1900s. I'm not as interested because it's old. I don't want to have that feeling, so I will look into it and see if there are any that interest me. Hopefully, one of them will be. Uh, of a book that I've already read, but doubtful, because I've only read two. <laughs> God, so frustrating. So I just realized that the main monitor that I'm using, this is the monitor that I use for gaming because it's the one I sit directly in front of. And then I have this one on the side. And then I have my TV, right? All of them are connected to my computer. So having dual monitors, I'm the type of person that likes it where I sit directly in front of one and then this one's off to the side. I don't like having this part right here be the center of my vision. But yeah, so I realized that this monitor has not been using 144HZ and both of my monitors support it and I don't like 60HZ at all. So I would never use 60HZ ever again, but apparently I've been fucking playing on 60HZ for a while. I think the cable that I've been using doesn't support it because I had some like really wonky setup. So my TV is HDMI T my TV is HDMI to HDMI. My main monitor is currently display port to HDMI. And then this third one on the side is DVI to DVI. So I think my display port to HDMI cable might not support 144 HZ. So I'm going to purchase a DisplayPort to DisplayPort cable. And the reason I have this kind of weird setup is before I originally planned to do uh, DisplayPort to HDMI to my TV, but when I did that last year at the apartment, I wasn't able to get um, all three displays going at the same time with the TV having the DisplayPort to HDMI. So I decided to use that for my computer and then HDMI for my TV. So apparently that, I'm not like super knowledgeable about computers. I think I'm pretty decent, but 
not being aware that the cables I was using is not supportive of what I want. Um, I'm kind of disappointed it took me this long to figure out. And I'm also a little disappointed that I didn't notice I was playing on 60HZ this entire fucking time. Like I think it was since I moved here or maybe even last, I don't know. So I think it's so hard to tell because at the apartment, it's very well possible that I had my setup a little different in terms of like which monitor and which cables I was using. So last year I was probably playing on 144HC, but here, since I haven't really played games much at all, I didn't really check my refresh rate or anything, but earlier I was trying to bring my Dota client to my TV so I could watch the games because the ones on YouTube for that match that I wanna watch, um, they're like, eh, quality. So if I watch in the client, it's like perfect, crisp. But I noticed when I was trying to switch my game to Windows mode, windowed mode, on the computer, like I hadn't moved the client to the TV yet, it said that I was capping out at 60 refresh rate. And I was like, what the hell is going on? No way. So then I checked my settings and display properties. And then I realized the sad thing that I've been on 60 HC this entire time. But I, I spent a lot of time earlier trying to like mess around with my settings to try to get it to go higher. But the 144 HC option doesn't even show up for my monitor. It shows up for this monitor on the right side. TV caps at 60, that's fine. All right, just so I don't have to worry about like focusing on Ryla even in the slightest bit, I'm gonna leave her inside while I try to install my heat controller. But I think it's just so funny how there's like three animals just peering out at me. Peepers. Here we are, got the seat off. That wasn't so bad. These plastic things are kind of interesting. So these are the two that I'm looking for. <sighs> I just have no idea how I'm going to snake the controller to my handle. We'll worry about that after, I guess. All right, I am finally done. Holy shit. That was awful. I really couldn't push the screw down onto the battery. I didn't really want to show it too much, but basically I needed to put like, basically I needed to put like two connectors to the battery and they do add a little bit of spacing between the screw and where it needed to screw onto. So I feel like it was really, really, really hard for it to attach itself without a lot of strength pushing downwards. And I was kind of like lacking a lot of that for a while and trying to figure out which angle is the best way to get it in. And oh my God, that really like frustrated the hell out of me, especially if I can't do something because of strength. So I plugged it in and you're supposed to plug this part right here, this, into my jacket. I don't know if you can see that right here, but yeah, I'm not positive yet. I'm not completely positive where I want to put this. <laughs> so my dangle for now, I'll figure it out before I ride with it on. But uh, it did take a little while for it to heat up my jacket and it's sunny out. So I was like, uh, is it the sunlight or is it my jacket heating up? But it was definitely the jacket. So finally I'm done. And now I can play a whole day of Dota. <sighs> okay. I pretty much decided that made a poor choice, but I was so tired and frustrated and finally happy that I installed my heat controller that I was like I'm not gonna cook 
So I ordered a steakhouse salad from Outback Steakhouse, medium rare steak, and I asked them to provide me some bread and butter. So <laughs> that will get here in 45 minutes. Um, my friend James was ready to play Dota while I was in the middle of installing, but I was like, nah, I, I was like, I had my seat off, I had everything disassembled, so I didn't want to just stop in the middle. So told him to play one first without me, and now I'm waiting for him to finish his game. So here is my <clears throat> steakhouse salad. It arrived in the middle of my game and a little irritated because I asked them to mix in the dressing when they and they didn't. So whenever they put them in containers like this, it's really hard to distribute the dressing properly. But if they do it when they're preparing it, I feel like that would make it so much easier. So I don't know why places are so fail whenever I have a request, simple request like that. Anyways, I'm trying to cram this down while there isn't a Dota game going on. I just won my first one, so must eat very quickly. Hi. Hi. So, I am in the middle of still playing a lot of Dota. I actually kind of wonder how late I'm gonna play. Where are you going? but she has been on place for like three hours, so I decided to let her off momentarily. But yeah, been some good games. One, three so far. I'm in a five stack, which is always wonderful. Oh man, I feel a little overwhelmed, a little bit, because I just finished watching the Vanishing of Sydney Hall, and it has Logan Lerman in it, Elle Fanning, Blake Jenner, Kyle Chandler, and I really like Logan Lerman. I always have, especially after seeing him in Perks of Being a Wallflower. So actors like him, where I just know they're very talented and they're not all about their looks, like people like Chris Hemsworth and Chris Evans and those people, I am usually less excited about seeing them in movies because I know that usually they're there for physical reasons, not for talent. So um, I haven't seen Logan Lerman in a movie in a while. The last movie he did is called Indignation, which I did watch, but I don't think it really s struck me as hard as this movie did. Uh, this movie was pretty deep and uh, definitely really like it. I rated it a 4.5 out of 5 and <laughs> I just feel like kind of post movie drained right now. Um, I was going to just exercise that way I can get it out of the way for the day and not you know put it off until I don't even do it. Um, there is a Dota match that I want to watch later EG versus Navi at uh, it's in like two hours and 20 minutes, so I have plenty of time. <sighs> Hi. So right now the EG versus Navi theme is drafting and I'm pretty much going to head over. Right after this, I'm going to get myself some Lucky Charms to eat. Puppers. Cause I'm kind of hungry, even though I did eat dinner already. But uh, I got into another dungeon earlier. It's the same dungeon but I played it through to the end, and I also had a talent set up that I think was more suitable for the dungeon, so I'm probably going to upload that tonight or tomorrow, something like that. Let's see who wins this best of three. It's semifinals, so I actually wonder if finals are tonight also, because it's in Indonesia, so it's there tomorrow already. Uh, it's their Sunday, I mean. 